So we will discuss circular motion and rotational motion. Circular motion. If a body moves along the circumference of a circle, then motion is circular. I hope it is visible to hear that this object, there is a blue object, is moving along the circumference of the circle. So it is the motion of the blue object is the circular motion. Rotational motion. If the body is spinning about the fixed line, that fixed line is known as axial rotation, and that axial rotation pass through the body, we will say that is a rotational motion. Generally, you people get confused which is circular and which is rotational. So I am explaining in detail. If motion of an object is along the circumference of a circle, that is known as a circular motion. Again, I am repeating. If motion of an object along the circumference of a circle, it is known as a circular motion. Now, what is the? Can can any one of you tell me what is the real life example of circular motion? Of course, there are number of examples. I am taking very simple and very important example which I will use here in the class nine for the gravitation chapter also. When a satellite is orbiting around the Earth, this is the Earth, and all of you know satellite orbit around the Earth. This motion is known as the circular motion. One more example we are taking. We take the small object and we tie to a string or rope. Suppose this is the object, and another end of the rope is in your hand, and you just bow it. All of you will see this stone move in the circular motion. So what is the circular motion? Again, I am repeating it. Motion of an object. along the circumference of the circle is known as a circular motion now i am discussing one very simple activity for all of you just all of you observe the activity i think all of you have seen the moving fan suppose i say these are the three blades of the fan and i take a small point On one of the blade. As you switch on the fan, you will see this point is moving in the circular path. I have it is clear to all of you. I am again highlighting it. This is the circular path along which the point which we have taken into consideration is moving. So we can say this point is moving in the circular path, or we can say. blades of the fan also going in the circular path but student if i take complete system of the fan let me change the color okay if i take this fan as a whole system there is axis also i think all of you know this is the axis and these are the blades It's like this you can understand in 3d it doesn't matter so when i consider whole fan with the axis as a system then i can't say this is a circular motion if i say it is circular motion it is wrong because the fan is a whole body not going anywhere the entire fan, fan is not moving along the circumference so what type of motion is this this is known as the rotational motion now we will see with the help of the video animation about circular motion and rotation motion correctly if an object is moving in circles it's undergoing circular motion more accurately it's defined as the motion of an object along the circumference of a circle the circumference of a circle is the length of this boundary which is curved so if an object is moving along the circumference of a circle we say it's undergoing circular motion Can you give me any real life examples in which objects execute this type of motion? What about the satellites orbiting the earth? Yes, a satellite orbiting at a certain height is also undergoing circular motion. What other examples of circular motion can you think of? Take a small object and tie it to one end of a rope. Take the other end of the rope in your hand and whirl it around in circles. You see that the object is performing circular motion. Notice that the distance of the stone from your hand is always the same. What about the moving fan? Is it also undergoing circular motion? 
First, let's only consider the motion of a point on one of its blades. If we switch on the fan, we will see the point moving in circles. So we can say that the blades of the fan are also undergoing circular motion. Now what if I take the fan as a one single object? Can I say that the fan as a whole is moving in circles? No, that would be incorrect. The fan as a whole is not going anywhere. The entire fan is not moving along the circumference of a circle. But which motion is it performing then? The fan is undergoing rotational motion. Before actually defining this type of motion, let's try to understand it first. This rod here is called the axle and the entire fan is spinning around this axle. Or you can also say that the entire fan is spinning around this fixed line. This type of motion is what we call rotational motion. Now we will define it in simple words. A body is said to be performing rotational motion if it's spinning around some fixed line. And the fixed line is also called axis of rotation. What other examples of rotational motion can you think of? What about a rotating wheel? We use the word rotating because it's performing rotational motion. What is axis of rotation in this case? Yes, it lies on the axle of the wheel. So the wheel is also undergoing rotational motion about this fixed line. Other examples of this type of motion can be the earth spinning around its axis and a spinning top. But wait a moment. Let's go back to our example we discussed earlier. When this object was whirled around in circles, we said that it was performing circular motion. But here, if we take this line as our axis of rotation, then we can also say that the object is performing rotational motion around this fixed line. So what is the motion of this object? Circular or rotational? What exactly is the difference between the rotational and the circular motion? In all the examples of rotational motion that we saw, the axis of rotation is a part of the object. It is going through the object. But in this case, the axis of rotation is not passing through the object. It's totally separate from the object. Hence, we don't call this motion as rotational motion. This is circular motion and not rotational. So this is the difference between circular and rotational motion.